hello my chickens welcome to my channel so in today's video we're going to be doing a good old-fashioned get ready with me for clubbing i'm super excited for this video because i used to do them all the time and you guys absolutely love them so we're going to be doing like my go-to full glam clubbing hair makeup and outfit um obviously it changes every time but you know the base and all of that stuff it is the same so Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. I honestly feel like I'm never going to outgrow my clubbing days. Obviously, I'm very young. I'm only 22, so I absolutely love going out. It's kind of like where I can switch off after the week because there's obviously always so much going on in my life. My brain's always going like a million times an hour. So that I think that's why I like going out because I get to see my friends. and I just get to switch off and not work. You know what I mean? I don't know, but I'm sure we all feel the same. And if you don't like going out, maybe you do something different, like watch Netflix or something like that. But I like to go out. So, of course, the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, prep my skin because my skincare routine is so incredibly, so incredibly <clears throat> important. I'm just getting over a sickness. Like, I've, well, I mean, I've had it for three weeks and it's like gone, but it's still a bit of a cough. I'm home alone, so I'm kind of scared that the aircon's making weird noises. So I quickly want to talk about these two products here because they are my absolute favorite. We have a new product and then a product I've been using for a while. So if you guys uh, have been following me for a while, I've been using Dermalogica for about, oh, probably well and truly over a year now. And I think it's the only product that my skin actually likes because the other day I went for a photo shoot and they used different skincare on me. My skin literally just like went all red and it just doesn't like any other products. Anyway, so the first product that I used this morning and last night is the Dermalogica Clear Start uh, Breakout Clearing Booster. So what you do is you just put this on your troubled areas. So because I was doing photo shoots and stuff uh, last week, my skin was breaking out a bit because there was so much makeup going on. I also did eat I made a chocolate when I went back to the hotel room, so my bad. But um, yeah, we did get a few breakouts. So I did put it on my chin area and also on this little breakout area. So this has salicylic acid in it, so it's going to get rid of the bacteria on your skin to help prevent any breakouts. And it also has seaweed, what is it, seaweed extracts? Yeah, so it has seaweed extracts in it that help soothe irritated skin. So this also has a few uh, hydrating properties in here as well. So it's literally... A lifesaver and then we have this new product here this is the bio lumen c serum this is incredible so i've been going for facials for the past probably six months now and they recommended that i start using this just because i have a lot of acne scarring it just makes sure that my scars kind of stay light as possible because they do get very very pigmented so this accelerates uh cell turnover because it has lactic acid in it and it also helps reduce fine lines and all of that stuff. And it has vitamin C in it. So it's just incredible for the skin, super hydrating. If you guys are interested in any of these products, make sure you check the link down below. And thank you so much Demolitica for sponsoring this video. So the first product I'm taking is the P. Louise base in the shade 03 Rumor. We're gonna carve out underneath the brows. I haven't done this in a while. And I got my eyebrows tattooed, tattooed. Wow. I got my eyebrows tattooed on um, last week, so they're finally healed and they look really good, which means now I can put product over the top of them. So let's make them really defined. I need to move my lights. So the brush that I'm using today is the Shanexo Eye Definer Brush. This is incredible for carving out underneath the brows. It's the only brush that I've found that has short bristles, so you have a lot of control over this. Okay guys, so I'm going to go in with the Be Perfect Carnival palette and I'm going to take the shade Foolish down here. So what I like to do when I'm going out, I always like to match my makeup to my outfit. So my outfit is like dark pink roses. So I'm going to start with this lighter color uh, right up in the crease and then we're going to uh, bring like all the dark shades down. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Wifey, which is this like hot pink right here and I'm going to pop this in the crease a little bit lower than that last shade. So the shade above is just gonna come through at the top as a transition. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a shade liquor, which is a deep burgundy color. I feel like there's like traces of this in the dress. So I'm just gonna pop this on the outer third. I know it looks very, very crazy right now. We're gonna clean that up soon. <clears throat> but right now I'm gonna go in with um, my P. Louise base that I broke. And um, I'm taking on a flat shader brush. I'm just going to do a cup crease. And then I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glow. No, Soft Glam palette. 
<clears throat> and I'm going to take the shade Sultry. This is a beautiful, chunky pink. It's like a rosy pink. So I'm just going to pack this all over the lid. Wow, that's so dark. Okay, no, I don't like that. Instead, I'm going to take the shade Rose Pink because that's lighter and I prefer it to be lighter. Then I'm going to wet my cotton pad and clean up the edges. Ooh. So I'm just going to take that pink color again and flick up from that purple just so we can blend that edge in slightly. And we will do a wing as well so we can blend that really dark edge in there. I have literally been obsessed with these for so long. These are the wing. Oh, I forgot what they're called. I just called the wing. The wing stamp eyeliners, I have the 10 millimeter ones. This is the only reason I can actually do wing eyeliner now. So it's basically a little stamp on one side and then an eyeliner on the other side. So I like to look up when I'm applying it, put it in line with my eyeshadow and just stamp it down. So you have a guide and then you go in with the other side. Lashes are on. These are actually incredible. So let's move on to the base. So I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Hydrating, uh, what's this called? Pro Filter um, Primer. So I'm just going to pop this all over my face. Obviously, we've prepped the skin really nicely, but this is going to help keep the makeup stay on. I just got a new one of these. I've literally been through probably six of these foundations. Beauty Blender. Bounce Long Whip Long Wear Foundation. This is the best foundation in the world. Anyways, I'm in the shade 3.65. I have a horrible memory, but I remember that off by heart because I have to keep buying them. <sighs> We're just going to pop her all over. This has a really nice medium to full coverage. Probably say more full. I have a bit of Bondi sand down my neck, so we have to match it up. Uh, concealer time. I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. I've been loving Fenty. She's done so well with the line. I'm just going to blend this out. I have been so obsessed with this lately. I'm sure you guys have seen if you've been keeping up with my um, videos, but I mean, what videos I don't even upload anymore, but um, this is the Bondi, uh, Bondi Sands. Ah! <laughs> the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in 6.5. So I've been obsessed with contouring like cream contouring it just looks so much better than powder contour um, because it just looks more natural and glowy i mean i wouldn't say natural it's still like dramatic because i'm obviously going ham but i don't know just like obviously the texture of it is just so much nicer than powder so i always like to go around my hairline that is so important it makes the biggest difference i know it might not look like it at the start but trust me it does it's like an illusion of a smaller forehead i don't even have a big forehead but it just looks better if you have a small forehead I'd probably avoid this it might make it look smaller cream highlight this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid glow it is a mess because it exploded in my bag love that for me um, I'm just gonna pop this up on the highest points of my cheeks look how pretty that is this makes my life this is such like a clubbing essential like honestly just set everything under my eyes I'm going with the La Prairie um, cellular treatment powder and I'm gonna oh my god I need to like make sure the creases aren't there before I do this I'm just gonna bake I usually don't like setting my face because I like how it looks super glowy so I make sure I always do my laugh lines um, now we can go into bronzer if you do have oily skin I would recommend setting your face I don't know what noise my throat just made that's so fun so I'm gonna go in with my Mac soft and <laughs> give me sun my head is all over the place I'm just so excited I'm going to put this over the top. Blush time. I'm taking the Makeup Geek blush in the shade Infatuation. This used to be my all-time favorite. Very pigmented. So I'm just going to pop this on the apples and then blend it back. For the eyebrows, I haven't done this in a while, but this is what I usually like to do when I go clubbing because it's so defined. I'm going to take the Fill Proof Brow Powder by Benefit. Absolutely love this. I usually only really use Benefit, so I'm going to take this darker shade here the lady that did my eyebrows at i boutique she was incredible her name's brie um she did an amazing job at my brows so i don't really need to reshape them at all i'm just going over the outline making them darker 
Of course, to push these bad boys up, I'm taking the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 3. So I'm just going to push these right up, make them look extra full. Wow, I'm very happy with how my base looks. That looks so good. Ugh. Time for the lower lash line. I'm going to take that pink shade again and pop that from the outer corner to the inner corner. But I'm not going to blow it out too much. And then I'll go in with that... Um, Brown. The next thing that I do is I put highlight on. So I'm taking my Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. Love this so much. Oh no, I have this one. Oh well, I'll do both. So now I'm going to take my Becca Chloe Malika highlight. I actually, this always gets stuck in the lid and I didn't realize it was there. So I guess I'm going to use that. Now for the lip liner, I'm going to take the Essence Lip Liner in the shade In The Nude. This is so, so stunning and so affordable. Then I'm going in with this Hourglass. What is this even called? Girl Influencer. Um. So pretty much if I'm going clubbing, I'll do the same technique, but just different colors on the eyes. So I hope you enjoyed the makeup. Let's go do the hair. Actually, I might do it in here. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my ponytail because the dress that I'm wearing has a lot going on around the shoulders. Sorry, I just ran downstairs because for some reason this was sitting in the garage. Love that for me. So first thing that I'm gonna do is straighten my ponytail. Got my GHD here. Absolutely love it. Oh, oh my God, the lights are flickering. There's too much power coming out. If I turn any lights off for lighting, it's gonna be horrible. Anyway, so I'm gonna brush my hair, pop her up in a ponytail. I really wanna do a low, long pony. Last time I did that, it actually flew out of my head. So we're gonna to have to be really careful. Oh my God, one time I went out and I wore my ponytail and I got home and I threw it on my lamp. And there's literally a burn mark right here because my lamp caught on fire because of this. The heat it was actually insane. I, I'm like so afraid of fire. I woke up to like something burning. It was not normal. Anyway, so I'm just gonna clip her in. And then wrap this around. Okay guys, so now it's time to get my dress on. Oh my God, I can't believe how much my eyeshadow actually does match to my dress. I feel like this one's way too dressy for clubbing. This is like, I need to save that for an event that I have coming up or something, but Oh my God, I really want to wear this. But instead, I'm going to wear this dress right here from House of CB. It is so freaking pretty. I'm trying not to get my undies in right now because I don't want to get in trouble. But it has this mesh in the sleeve, so the shoulders are really, really high. It is stunning. So I'm going to put this on and I'll be right back. Yes, the dress is on. It is literally so pretty. So I'm just going to come down so you guys can see what I'm doing next. I'm going to put on this necklace. This one just says shiny. It's like a very dainty necklace. I really like to wear it when I'm wearing like dressy outfits. I'm gonna pop her on. I've just been so obsessed with it lately. And I always put shiny back to front. And of course, I'm just gonna pop some earrings in. These ones are just from La Visa, you know, the cheap fake gold ones. The only thing I have left to do is shoes, bag, and I need to tan my legs, they're very pale. Oh my God, I love this dress, I love it. So of course, I'm using my Bondi Sands Glow Matte. I'm nearly out of this. I've been through so many of these in my life, it's actually crazy. And then we have my shoes right here. These ones are brand new. They're from Tony Bianco. I absolutely love these so much. And they do have like a little bit of a thicker, I mean, they're thin this way, but they're thick that way, which means it's harder to roll your ankle. So that's why I got these ones. They're stunning. This is the bag that I am going to wear today. It has a bit of dust on it because I haven't used it in so long, but I absolutely love it. It is just a staple for my collection. Oh, wow. Do I put it over my... <gasps> Oh God, I'm gonna have to put it around my arm like this. Fun. Anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I am ready to go now. If you like this style of video, please give it a big thumbs up so I can do more. I really wanna start doing more um, outfit type videos. I'll probably be doing those over on my Instagram, so make sure you follow me over there. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.